You see the way somebody is treating another and both of them call themselves Christians. The kind of a fight between believers. If this one is a believer, this one is a believer. And the kind of a fight between them, he can only define it as wickedness. It's only a wicked man that will destroy another with his mouth. <laughs> I'm preaching. Am I preaching? Ask your neighbor, are you aware you are already arrested? <laughs> yeah. The spirit of the last days is the one behind the increase of wickedness. Increase. Not wickedness. It's increase. It is increasing. It's in another level. Yeah. I was listening to another man of God. And he was saying, he went preaching somewhere. Like the way we would call a preacher to come and preach here. Let's say Bishop Karaoke. And, Okay. As you know, we do something like that. We don't have personal assistant. But many preachers have personal assistant. Do you know PA? And then the PA of Mama Favor would give Bishop Karyuki poison. In the church, in our spiritual church, very big church, I was very surprised. I know that church. Increase of what? The spirit of the last days is the one behind the increase. It's not just wickedness. Increase of wickedness. Today, some of the things we are seeing in church is not just wickedness. It's increase of wickedness. <laughs> I'll say that one until you catch it. Some of the things we are seeing in church today it's not just wickedness. It's increase of wickedness. I'm telling you. It's the spirit of the last days. The Bible said in our text. The spirit is clearly saying. That in the last days. Many will depart from faith. Look at that. The spirit clearly says that in the latter times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits. So somebody can be in a spiritual church, but he is following a deceiving spirit. He's following lies. He believes lies. He is controlled by lies. Abandon the faith. And follow deceiving spirits. And things taught by what? Yeah. Some people cannot know how to do certain things. Unless a demon teaches them. Some revelations. Some evil revelations. Cannot come to an ordinary mind. It's only a demon that can teach that. Yeah. Demonic revelations. The spirit clearly says that in the latter times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things, you see, things that are taught by demons. Ask your neighbor, how did you know what you know today? <laughs> some things you can't know them unless a demon teaches you. can you know to poison a man of God? You don't even relate to him. He has not done anything wrong to you. In fact, you, something tells you it is better when he is dead. Do you think it is your head? You have been taught by a demon. <laughs> yeah. I'm teaching something. Are we learning this morning? And we, the purpose of teaching this is that the Lord said believers must know where they stand so that we don't live in deception. 
Living deception in deception is when you tell yourself you are okay and you are terrible. It's when you tell yourself you are okay and you are horrible. You know horrible? It's when you think everything is fine and you are almost getting into a pit. But on the outside, people can look at your life and they think everything is okay. And you are also behaving it. There is, let me tell you, the easiest way for a sick person to die is to behave like he is not sick. Did you hear what I said? What did I say? Yeah, you go to the doctor and you feel, when you see people in hospital and they are dressing very smart, they are not sick. Because genuine sickness will change the way you do things. It will even change your attitude if you are genuinely sick. The spirit, okay, let's, let's move on. Where is my sermon? When did I keep it? Okay. I think it is here. Don't look at my notebook. The spirit of the last days. So many Christians are already in custody of the spirit of the last days. They are already slaves. They have already been captured. The spirit of the last days is the one controlling them. You see, today when you go home, you need to kneel down beside your bed. And thank God that he found it worthy for you to hear what you are hearing now. I'm telling you. It's something you should appreciate God for. People are no longer hearing this kind of messages anymore. Number, where are we now? Number three. The spirit of the last days will sponsor falsehood and deception. Is the one that sponsors what? Falsehood. Have you discovered? Have you discovered that? Have you discovered? If you are a true politician, you tell people, he aita weze kana, he aita weze kana, he aita weze kana, huta shaguriwa. Lakini nikikuja ni wambie, nitakuwa, nitawaletea mifereji ya maziwa nyumbani. Watapiga makofi. Na wanita nichagua. Tamak, itakuja mpaka kwa ngejieni. Na utazeka, ukufe, kapuri ujona tamak kwa mlangu yako. Na utamini hiyo tu. And naturally speaking, it is not true. It's the spirit of falsehood. It's the one controlling the world. You... In today's society, you cannot become popular by saying the truth. Yeah, you can't become popular by saying the truth. And let me tell you, the easiest way, I'm giving you a secret, eh? you can buy it for free. The easiest way to lose friends is to keep telling them the truth. Because we are living in the last days. And in the last days, the spirit of the last days will sponsor falsehood. Lies, deception will be everywhere. Children will be learning how to lie without anyone teaching them. And you see what I'm telling you? Falsehood. People will love to lie more than to say the truth. People will find it difficult to end the day without lying. <laughs> I'm quiet. Is 
season and location, you are catching it. Or you are saying, I wish I did not come for the morning service today. Look at what the Bible says. The Spirit clearly says that in the latter times, some will abandon the faith and follow what? Follow what? Follow what? No, I need to hear you. They will follow what? Look at 2 Timothy chapter 3. But mark this. There will be terrible times in the last days. <laughs> Let's go on. People will be lovers of themselves. Lovers of money. Boastful. Proud. Abusive. Disobedient to their parents. Ungrateful. Unholy. Let's go on. Without love and forgiving. Slanderers. Without self-control. Brutal. Brutal. Not lovers of the good. Treacherous. Rash. Conceited. Lovers of pleasure than, than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness but denying its power. Have nothing to do with them. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are we learning something? Yeah. The spirit of the last days, one of the things it sponsors is deception. 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 Lies. Do you know so many people have been killed by lies? Some of the lies are about now, I was reading something in two days ago. Do you know how many people are in prison who are innocent? Somebody just lied and the lie was bought. And they believed the lie. Somebody was saying two day, three days ago, I think, yeah, three days ago, he was driving and the police stopped them, stopped him. And when the police stopped him, he told them to open the boots. The police dropped drugs in the boots. And he said, you can go ahead and call the next barrier. This person, Kitu Kikamuambia, Kunakasoro, Haripoenda Kasimama Kame, With a white substance. Kitu dani yake kika muambia through a power. Akai took. Two kilometers. Mele, akazi mamisho na police. Na walienda kwa mbuti straight. Because they knew what they are going for. If God did not help you, ameshikwa na drugs, lying. Unawesa kujitetea. But the truth is, it's a lie. There are so many people today in prison because somebody lied about them. Did you see the other day in Citizen? The man who was sentenced for life because the daughter lied. It is now 13 years akiwa prison because somebody opened the mouth and lied. Are you seeing what I'm telling you? It's in the last days, the spirit of the last days will sponsor deception, lies. It, let me tell you, there's a difference between natural lies and the lies that are sponsored by uh, another power. In Matthew chapter 28, when Jesus resurrected, soldiers were paid money to lie that he never resurrected. The lies that are paid for stay longer. Ah. Am I preaching this movement? Yeah. 
When a lie is sponsored, it stays longer. It is more powerful. Look at what the Bible is saying. Let's look at this. When the chief priest and met with the elders and devised a what? What did they do? They devised a what? A what? Talk to me now. They devised a what? Yeah, a plan. Okay, let me go there. It seems like this TV is devising a plan or something. They gave the soldiers how much money? Large sum of money. Uh -huh. To do what? Verse 13. You see, the question is, you see, let me show you something. Let me show you what I'm saying. Kiuchinga. Lakini kwa sababu pesa imelipo wa langanya, iyo wongo itakuwa protected. The question is, si munambio museme, wanafusi wa yesu, walikuja waka muiba, mulipo kuwa munarara, mulijua ajeni wanafusi wa yesu. Mulikuwa munarara, mulijua ajeni wanafusi wa yesu wali muiba. Say, look, look at verse 14. If this report get to the governor, we will satisfy him. In other words, we will protect the lie. Because we are paying the money for it. 